Ladies and gentlemen, allow us to introduce the Golden Stars of Hollywood, a series where we traverse the uncharted realms of timeless icons who continue to illuminate the big screen in their golden years. Envision this, the sun casting its final glow over the rolling hills, long shadows stretching across the landscape, and a solitary figure stepping forward, each footfall echoing through the corridors of cinematic history. In the mystical realm of Hollywood, where time dances between reels and legends linger in the air, one name emerges from the symphony of stars, Clint Eastwood. Today, we embark on an enthralling journey through the life and legacy of Clint Eastwood, a maestro still holding the reins of the big screen with the same magnetic intensity that captivated audiences from its very genesis. Clint Eastwood's illustrious career began its initial chapters during the 1960s, marking the commencement of an era-defining journey. Eastwood, born in 1930, had already tasted the small-screen success with his role as Rowdy Yates in the popular TV series Rawhide, which ran from 1959 to 1965. However, it was his collaboration with the Italian director Sergio Leone that catapulted him into cinematic stardom. Our odyssey unfolds amidst the dust-laden landscapes of spaghetti westerns. A figure shrouded in mystery, a nameless wanderer emerges, the man with no name. The appeal is not just in the jingle of spurs, but in the enigma of a character communicating through piercing gazes and the haunting rustle of tumbleweeds. The iconic Dollars Trilogy, featuring A Fistful of Dollars for a Few Dollars More, and The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, showcased Eastwood's stoic charisma and redefined the archetype of the Western hero. These spaghetti westerns not only solidified his place in the film industry, but also set the stage for a career that would seamlessly transition from acting to directing, making Clint Eastwood a true luminary of Hollywood's golden age. As the sun of the 70s ascends, Eastwood pivots from expansive deserts to the urban jungle as Dirty Harry Callahan, an unyielding cop who walked the razor's edge of justice. The hook shifts to the guttural growl of a 44 Magnum and the iconic line, Do I feel lucky? The resonance extends beyond gunshots, delving into the moral quagmire that Eastwood's characters navigate, a reflection of societal struggles. Eastwood's characters weren't just enforcing justice, they were confronting the complexities of morality, and audiences found themselves emotionally invested in this urban symphony of crime and punishment. His evolution from cowboy to urban icon was a testament to his versatility. The 80s marked a transformative era as Eastwood stepped into the director's chair. No longer confined to the role of an actor, he emerges as an auteur, sculpting narratives with finesse. The attraction extends beyond characters to the promise of witnessing the unseen hands that weave tales. More than just films, Bronco Billy and Honky Tonk Man embody reflections of a director's evolving vision. Bronco Billy is an American Western comedy drama that tells the story of a down-on-his-luck cowboy who, against all odds runs a traveling Wild West show. As a director, Eastwood infuses the film with a sense of nostalgia and a touch of whimsy, creating a delightful cinematic experience that explores themes of resilience, reinvention, and the enduring allure of the American West. Honky Tonk Man serves as another brilliant testament to Clint Eastwood's versatility as both an actor and director. In this poignant drama, Eastwood takes on the role of Red Stovall, a struggling Western singer during the Great Depression. The film unfolds as a road trip narrative, where Red embarks on a journey to audition for the Grand Ole Opry in Nashville, accompanied by his young nephew. Eastwood's portrayal of Red is a nuanced exploration of a man grappling with both his dreams and the harsh realities of life. As the director, Eastwood infuses the movie with a blend of humor, heartache, and an authentic depiction of the Depression era. The 1992 masterpiece, Unforgiven, marked Clint Eastwood's return to the Western genre. Eastwood not only stars in the film, but also directed it, 
Set in a world that has moved past the romanticized Wild West, Unforgiven follows William Money, a retired gunslinger turned farmer, drawn back into the world of violence for one last job. Eastwood's portrayal of Money is a tour de force, capturing the essence of a man haunted by his past and struggling with the realities of justice and revenge. The promise of a narrative ballad and a symphony of salvation is what makes the story intriguing. The viewers become invested in the complexity and the gradual unraveling of a complex character. Unforgiven earned Eastwood four Academy Awards, including Best Director and Best Picture, cementing its place as a classic in the Western genre and a testament to Eastwood's enduring impact on cinema. As the new millennium dawned, Eastwood delved deeper into the human psyche. His directorial prowess reached new heights with the 2003 film Mystic River. Adapted from Dennis Lehane's novel, Eastwood navigates the complex layers of human emotion and trauma in this gripping thriller. Eastwood's direction is a masterclass in building tension and extracting powerful performances from his cast. The film revolves around three childhood friends whose lives intersect again when a tragedy strikes. With a hauntingly atmospheric tone and a narrative that seamlessly weaves between crime, redemption, and tragedy, Eastwood crafts a film that lingers in the mind long after the credits roll. Million Dollar Baby wasn't just a boxing film, it was a poignant exploration of mentorship and sacrifice. Eastwood directs and stars in this emotionally charged drama that follows the journey of Maggie Fitzgerald, a determined young woman with dreams of becoming a professional boxer. Eastwood's portrayal of Frankie Dunn, a grizzled trainer with a haunted past, is a nuanced exploration of compassion and redemption. The film navigates themes of mentorship, sacrifice, and the pursuit of dreams against the backdrop of the gritty boxing world. Million Dollar Baby is critically acclaimed, earning four Academy Awards and an Oscar for Best Picture and Best Director. The film's impact lies not only in its impeccable storytelling, but in its ability to touch the depths of the human spirit, cementing Clint Eastwood's legacy as a maestro of profound and moving cinema. The mid-2000s brought a symphony of war with Flags of Our Fathers and Letters from Iwo Jima. In 2006, Clint Eastwood directed Flags of Our Fathers, a cinematic exploration of heroism, sacrifice, and the complexities of war. The film revolves around the iconic photograph of the raising of the American flag on Iwo Jima during World War II, delving into the lives of the soldiers who became unwitting symbols of wartime bravery. Eastwood, known for his nuanced storytelling, weaves together past and present, examining the aftermath of war on the surviving soldiers. The film tackles themes of perception, memory, and the burdens carried by those deemed heroes. By humanizing the individuals behind the indelible image, Eastwood crafts a narrative that transcends the battlefield, offering a poignant meditation on the impact of war on both individuals and the collective consciousness. Flags of Our Fathers is a testament to Eastwood's ability to explore the human condition within the framework of historical events. Clint Eastwood offered a unique perspective on World War II with Letters from Iwo Jima, a companion piece to his film Flags of Our Fathers. This time, Eastwood turns the lens towards the Japanese soldiers defending the island. The film is a stark and intimate portrayal of humanity on both sides of the conflict. By focusing on the Japanese perspective, Eastwood breaks down the traditional lines of hero and villain, allowing the audience to empathize with the individuals caught in the brutal machinery of war. The letters exchanged between the soldiers provide a touching glimpse into the shared struggles, fears, and hopes of those on the opposite side of the battlefield. Eastwood's direction and storytelling skillfully transcend cultural boundaries, delivering a powerful anti-war narrative that resonates far beyond its historical context. Letters from Iwo Jima stands as a testament to Eastwood's ability to illuminate the universal aspects of human experience, 
even in the most harrowing of circumstances. As we stand at the threshold of Clint Eastwood's remarkable ninth decade, The Odyssey persists. The appeal of his work is not just in the action-packed storylines, but also in the promise of emotional depth, character complexity, and a narrative that grows with Hollywood's evolving landscapes. This chapter is not a denouement, but a vibrant, pulsating present. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Hollywood's Golden Celebrities Still Shining on the Big Screen. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content like this.